Locomotives and Oyster Creek Garden Railroad operate on battery power or live steam, so track power infrastructure is not installed. Locomotive battery charging ports can power lights on cars that connect to the locomotive, like passenger cars or utility cars. But the caboose is far from the engine and needs onboard power. This modified Bachman caboose has LED marker lamps and an LED in the brakeman's lantern. Fine wires from the lantern are routed through the floor. A 9-volt radio battery lacked the needed endurance and was replaced by a 6 AA battery holder, which uses the same connector as the previous radio battery. Battery holders allow batteries to be removed for charging. Cells don't charge at the same rate, so charging them individually assures a full charge. The same battery is used in this Heartland combine. The caboose interior is lighted, so the battery is hidden inside of a crate. My intention for this aristocrat caboose was simply to mount the same battery below the floor. However, the interior lights weren't working, so the car was disassembled and the bad bulbs were replaced with LEDs. Typical LEDs have convex lenses which emit light like a spotlight. LEDs with concave lenses, often found in Christmas light strings, scatter light in all directions, mimicking a light bulb. Soft white Christmas light LEDs were used to replace the bad bulbs inside the caboose. A section of artificial bulb was used to simulate a glass chimney for the lanterns. 1200 ohm resistors were installed in series with each LED. Existing LED marker lamps weren't very bright. The lamps were carefully split open and concave LEDs with brighter and more vibrant color were installed with 1200 ohm resistors. To locate the battery below the floor, the undercarriage detail was trimmed back so the battery would sit flat. Velcro straps that secure the battery to the floor were attached to the undercarriage using small washer head screws. Here is the finished caboose. If you found this video helpful, share it with a friend, give it a like, and check out our other DYI Garden Railroad projects on this channel. Thank you for watching.